Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I am so glad to have you back. Check it out what I am up to. And actually, it's what I, what's what Alex and I are up to. So in today's video, yes, we are taking you garage sailing with us and sharing with you what we brought home for for me to make over or actually to maybe plant this time and then Alex to resell. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content with the series that I've been doing with my son Alex. Um, he really is getting into the reselling and, and he's testing out doing maybe a channel. Um, so he, I appreciate you all who stay and watch what he has to say about his items and he kind of had something that he wanted me to throw in when he was doing what he was sharing with you all. So I'm just going to share with you that in August he'll be moving out so we won't have a lot of these videos. <sighs> you know, as a mom, that's hard, but they have to move on at 21. So I'm going to take these garage sale days with him as long as I can. So I hope you all enjoy them. Okay, at the first garage sale, no, I cannot help but buy some hostas for $1.50, some sedum, I think that's what it's called, which I don't have anymore because I took down my gardens. I have a tier in, on the side of my house that we had to get a new air conditioner system. And when we put the fence up, I have a whole tier that doesn't have any flowers in it. Unfortunately, these can't go because these need more shade than that provides, but this one can. And then look how super cute this is for $5. It is heavy. It's just got some hens and chicks in it, but super cute. So that'll just go on my back area. And then a Bible for a dollar. You know I had to pick it up. Oh, it's just a, I don't know what it looks like inside, but I like the Bible. And then I thought these were really unique. Um, they're old pictures. They're old black and white. Sorry, I've been painting, so my fingers are probably dirty. Um, yeah, look at those horses. Oh my gosh, just cool. And I love how he, like, they're framed. I think they're super cute. This would probably be an eBay sale. Group them all together, but yep, they were like a dollar a piece. And then the second garage sale, yes, of course, a rusty crusty a galvanized pail for $3 came home with me. And then in a quarter one that I we saw on our way out, I noticed this North Carolina Starbucks mugs. It was only a quarter. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you know those are collectible, the the state ones. So yes. So that was my haul, and Alex will have to share with you what he got. But first I thought I would do some quick gardening with you all. Yes, I have a couple spots that I want those hostas around my front porch. So I had hostas there before, but they didn't do well. They died off. And so I have a couple spaces. Our tree has grown now, so we have more shade in this spot. So yep, there's that fancy air conditioner. This winter we had to have a 
whole new furnace and air conditioner. They just put that in a couple weeks ago. Ouch. <laughs> Between the furnace and the air conditioner. And so then, yes, we had to take the garden that used to be here because of the fencing system. I had to tear all those plants out. So we were kind of waiting for all this to be done. So now I can start um, rearranging a few of the plants. But the service man told me that I need to remove this one a day lily that's too close to the air conditioner. And then I do have some of these random sunflower seeds that grow from the chipmunks. We are just, we struggle with chipmunks. The only good thing is I get random sunflowers from them all over our property. So first off, I have to move that one day lily so I can move that down. So... And then Chris actually has to get some more retaining wall blocks to go around just to make sure because we have a walkout basement so the slope so that the air conditioner unit doesn't shift. But this is what it looks like. So I moved two of daylilies that I already had and then the sedum is in the back along with some random <laughs> sunflowers that the chipmunks planted. back with another video um, today I am showing you guys my haul again um, I know I'm a little too tall for the camera so I will try to get something figured out there but in the meantime I'm going to show you guys my haul um, so this is actually gonna start out with a piece that I found a couple weeks ago which I actually just learned more about I showed you guys it in a recent um, video of my mother's and it is a portrait vase now i've learned a little more about it now i asked a co-worker more about it because i thought it was neat and pretty cool apparently it's pretty expensive as well um he said it's probably early 1900s probably like 1910s 1920s it's made over in germany it's made by a couple company made to look stuff like Royal Vienna. Um, if you look up Royal Vienna online, which I might show you guys some comps right here on the side or something, but some of them can go for a lot of money. Um, now this isn't Royal Vienna, but it's a lookalike from back in the day. And you can tell that because everything is actually hand done on it, which he has been in, or my coworker has been in the antique business for years and years. So he knows a lot about them and can tell you if it's been hand done or not. So yeah, pretty cool thing. Not sure how much it will end up going for. Um, I'm not sure if a lookalike is gonna be worth as much as a regular piece, probably not, but you know, it's a pretty cool thing to actually find something like that. And I picked it up for $2 a couple of weeks ago. I will start with my haul from today and yesterday also. Um, so this morning I got on my Facebook and was looking through Marketplace at sales. And I saw one that uh, actually had this DTEC, DTEX, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, it's an ECL 230D. Now you guys probably know nothing about what that means, but it caught my eye for some reason in this box. So I looked it up on the line and turns out it is an exit alarm for like a store kind of door. Uh, you know, like how, say, if you open a door in like a certain kind of store and it says, do not open or alarm will sound. That's what this would do. And so I saw it at her sale and I looked it up online and I'll actually show you the comp that I saw this morning. Um, 
you know, it was pretty high up there, you know, 200 to $300. And I'm like, I should go check that out. Cause you know, I know this person and um, might as well go buy from them, you know, support their sale and make a little profit myself. So that's pretty cool. I bought it for $30 this morning. Um, I also bought at that sale, two cameras. Now I've been kind of getting into camera reselling because I see that there's a profit in it. And so whenever I see a camera, I pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty much buying it every time. I can't help myself right now. So, you know, I'll, I'll get past that stage, but I got this one, which is a Ko Konica, Konica FT1. Um, now it's got a pretty kind of like industrial look to it. Um, and I just thought it was really neat looking. So I looked it up online real quick while I was at the sale and I saw this cop on it. And I mean, right, you know, how could I not? So I was like 30 bucks. Why not? Why not pick it up for 30 bucks? But I also got, saw this one that was, I believe it was 20 bucks is what she was asking for it. And this one actually had a few comps that were like, you know, it said like 3,000 and 1,000. I'm like, that can't be right. Cause you know, I, it's just a camera, right? Um, but I looked deeper into the comps and saw that those were two of the same exact looking pictures. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there but something funky was happening and I looked deeper into them and I saw that they'd still sell, you know, 200 to $300 typically. Um, so I figured I could pick this one up for $20 and not only did I get the camera, it came with all the accessories. I mean, there is an extra lens in here, uh, which some of these lens on their own, this one being a Nikon, um, Nikon DX 18 to 135 millimeter. Uh, some of these lenses on their own can sell for pretty high. Um, and then there's the charging cord. There's a bunch of instruction manuals and I got this cool bag with it, with a cool little guy on the front of it. So that was my first sale. camera. I don't know if that looks better. I know you guys can't really see my face. Maybe I can sit down for a second, but uh, that was actually not the first sale I went to this morning. The first sale I went to was actually an old coworker of my dad. Uh, they were having a sale this morning um, and I found this realistic Pro 2023. Um, it's a program scan, it's a scanner for like uh, radio frequencies and stuff. So you can use it to actually tap into radios around or radio stations around here. Um, now I think it is, I think this would be like AM channels only. I'm not too sure on that, but I got it for three bucks. Um, I see them selling, you know, around like 15 to 20 dollars so i figured i could pick that up real quick another thing that i got uh was this little um it's like almost the size of a ukulele but it's a guitar it's got six strings on it and i got it for i think i got this one for two bucks or something very cheap I figured I can put this at 15, try to sell it in my mom's booth. Um, so those were the two things I got before I went to the sale and got the whole bunch of cameras. Now, I got a bunch more cameras throughout the day. So I got actually three more cameras throughout the day. This one was pretty cool looking in my opinion. I paid 10 bucks for it, which honestly probably a little too much to pay but it is a um, Kodak, or no, it's a Polaroid. It's a Polaroid automatic 230 land camera. 
which I'll show you guys some comps for it on here, which I didn't do too well on it, if I'm being honest. Could have definitely done better for $10, but you live and you learn, you know. I'm just trying to kind of figure out the camera thing right now. And I think I can still sell it for $20, you know, double profit, possibly. So it might sit for a while, but who knows. Uh, the next thing I got was this Kodak Star 435. Um, now, I'm not too sure if any of these cameras work just yet. I haven't really tested them or played with them or anything, but I got this one for a dollar. And here's some comps for it right here. but I think they were, you know, higher than a dollar. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing I got was this uh, Canon SureShot Z135, which these ones actually went for, I think they were going for like 40 to $50 maybe. So, you know, pretty cool deal on that because I got this one for $2. Plus I got a little leather case to put it in and there's, I think one instruction manual in there. always help out profit when you can throw in a couple extra things. Um, the next thing I got throughout the day, I got a few different like variety of things that I got. I got a Pyrex bowl, which, you know, this isn't too uh, rare of a piece. It's, I'm not sure, I think it would be called like American wheat, maybe, I'm not sure. Some, maybe town and country, I don't know. But I got it for $2, I figure there's no chips, no cracks in that. I can make 10 bucks on it at least. Um, the next thing I got actually was not at the same sale, but it's at a different sale where they were having a huge barn clear out. I mean, this place was massive. It was probably about, you know, 50 foot high and probably about like more than 50 foot wide of just like boxes on boxes on boxes. There were like 10 by five shelves everywhere, just full of boxes. I don't really know how to explain it, but it was a lot of boxes. And they were all full of this, gr um, this group of like six or seven people, she said, just a whole bunch of stuff, like a huge estate sale. And they hadn't even been through all the boxes yet, but the boxes they had gone through were some boxes of CDs, a bunch of books, and a bunch of like glass bottles. I wasn't too interested in the glass bottles, but um, I did get some CDs, which I'll actually show you in a second. But my the coolest thing that I found, I thought, was this old Looney Tunes hat. Um, now I couldn't find any like markings or indication on who made it, but I thought if I could, you know, get a couple more dollars than I paid for it and somebody be happy with a Looney Tunes hat. That's pretty cool because this is very, you can tell it's vintage and it's got a really neat look to it where it's got all the characters in the front of it. Not all of them, but you know, a decent amount of them. Um, the next piece of uh, clothing that I got today so I actually got this yesterday. It is a Louisville uh, like jacket. Now it's an extra large, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's an extra large uh, Louisville Cardinals. It's almost like um, like a, kind of like a baseball jacket. Uh, it's got a velvet kind of texture to it. It's gonna be a little too big for me because I do not wear an extra large, but I mean, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a varsity jacket, almost like somebody would wear. And uh, it's got this Louisville uh, thing on the back. It's got this velvet texture to it. I think it's a very nice jacket. I looked up some jackets like it online. I couldn't find this exact one. And they would sell, you know, 40 to 50 bucks. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, 
next thing, I got a bunch of CDs, which I could sit here and show you all of them. But you know, I got Bob Dylan, Kiss, uh, CCR, Eagles, Billy Joel, Tracy Chapman, lots of CDs from that sale. Um, and then I also got, I'm not sure if these are gonna be too profitable, but I've actually never seen like, these are Mozart cassettes. So pretty cool. Um, what I also got were a few like little games. This is a NBA Washington Wizards uh, magnetic dartboard. Um, a few other games here. We've got Battleship right here, and then under it is Monopoly. Uh, very like retro kind of looking, probably from the 90s or so. So pretty cool. Um, I'm sure you guys saw these as I was picking them up. This is a Sports Illustrated thing. I think it was either 25 or 50 cents that I bought this for. Uh, it's got Michael Jordan on the cover of it. Obviously in his later years, but still a pretty cool thing to just pick up for 50 cents. Uh, another one of Sports Illustrated. This is just says the pictures. It's got a picture of uh, Muhammad Ali. He's knocking down somebody. Now I'm not a huge into boxing or anything, so I don't know who he knocked down, but you know, it's got a bunch of these old, like famous pictures of everybody in it. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, the next thing I got from the same sale was these two like older great NFL fun book, uh, all pro baseball stars, 1977. These are just cool little booth items to put in there. See if like any like older sports fan comes in and picks them up. And then I got this little Trivial Pursuit handheld game, which it says that it just needs batteries. I got it for a dollar. Um, I've actually done pretty well with those online recently, so I figured I could pick it up real quick and hopefully sell it for a profit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I got today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed me doing this little haul. Um, this I think has been working out where my mom will show off her haul and I will show off my haul. Uh, I do have plans, you guys have said, you know, you're, nat you're natural, you know, you should do this on your own. I do have plans to start that up. Um, unfortunately, I am just kind of busy and don't really have time to edit like my mom does. Um, because editing takes time. It, it really does. Um, so just let me know if you guys enjoyed this again and you guys have a great day. Bye. So luckily the lady gave me a deal when I did that sale because um, I only paid $50 when I was supposed to pay 80. So it's like she didn't even charge me for this camera. Um, but it kind of sucks that I just saw the comp again and it looks like I might get my money back, but it's not gonna be a lot more than my money back. So, you know, you live and you learn and that's that. So thank you for who all stayed and watched me do a little bit of gardening, $1.50 plants, you can't, <laughs> yes, thank you. And then stayed to watch Alex share. Yeah, I'm like, Alex, you really need to get the bigger um, tripod out and flip your camera so you can see that your head's being cut off. But you know, when I started my channel, I had to take the corrective criticism um, from viewers and have broad shoulders. So it is nice that I, I mean, it would have been nice to have somebody let me do a little bit on work up on their channel, but it is what it is. And I hope that you guys, um, stayed and watched. And yes, we, we will all help him learn how to, it's not putting together a channel and being in front of the camera is not an easy task by any means. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out our channel for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell. So you know, we've uploaded a new video and we will see you next time guys and you can see what we're up to. Bye!